This is why I'm not a fan of newer NAD players that use the high-speed multi-sampling. This is a 546 BEE, and it's got problems with reading and skipping. I don't know if you can see this in the camera. See that vibration in the disk drive back here? The frame rate's probably not capturing it, but it is shaking like a leaf. And the shaking is because they're using a single speed drive at double speed. And because the clamp doesn't seat perfectly into the spindle and the CD, it's offset a little bit every time it loads. And that offset changes into vibration. And the vibration shakes the disk drive and causes all sorts of quivering and tracking problems. Now this is running at a single speed, you wouldn't have this issue. And I don't know of a way short of reprogramming the, uh, the ROM to make it play at a single speed. Now, if I take a tool and I try to center the clamp on here, trying to get it so that I can cut down the vibration some, it's a little better. All I'm doing is changing the position of the clamp or some. That cuts down on the vibration a little bit. That will make it play. But otherwise, this is a really terrible idea. It will try really hard to maintain that speed. Yeah, you get it off balance and you can see it really shakes there. So this is a design flaw. Come on, open up. And there's not really, let me get down in here. There's not really anything wrong with the disk drive per se, other than the fact that it was not designed to run at these speeds. Yeah, getting down in here. Nothing's really warped. The little metal plate that the magnet clamps to is okay. But it doesn't care about the disc either. I can stick another disc in here. Here's a counterfeit Beethoven disc if you can deal with that. See, now this time, it's centered pretty well. And now we don't have the vibration. So it happened to center itself when I put the disc in. And now if I disrupt it, now we're back to shakes again. He's shaky, shaky. And what's even worse is you can see the uh, servo compensating the tracking servo, moving that gear back and forth ever so slightly, little by little by little. So it was by sheer chance that it was balanced, but me influencing the weight, now it's unbalanced again. And so it's just a sheer chance that it balances itself. Let me insert that same disc over again. It's off balance again. <laughs> Let's hit play. Yep, back to shaking. So, really, this is a single speed disk drive that is operating at double speed, and the harmonics of this weight assembly not centering on here is making this not work. There's a good millimeter of slop between this clamp and the spindle, 
which really means that it just doesn't work. It's just a design that doesn't work. It was a crap design. If you could reprogram this for single speed operation without a buffer or maybe times four, well, that would probably introduce even more vibration. But regardless, don't buy one of these. This is just junk. And it's really not going to get fixed within any reason. It was a 300 and something dollar CD player and it's just going to, it's going to go by the wayside. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching a little snippet. More stuff to come.